It was nearly a year ago that the Mars Curiosity rover made its journey to the red planet. Tonight, we're learning more about a Brown University geologist who had been contributing to the mission right from his lab in Providence. Meteorologist TJ Del Santo has the details in tonight's Green Team Report. This is Gale Crater on the surface of Mars where the Curiosity rover is conducting science experiments on the Martian rock. And some of the decisions on those science experiments are being made right here in Providence. The Curiosity rover landed on Mars last summer and has been making discoveries ever since, including evidence that rivers once flowed on the Martian surface. It's really been a great feat of uh, engineering and science. Millions of miles away from the Red Planet and here at Brown University, Ralph Milliken works on the Curiosity mission team. He helps to determine which rocks to analyze and which instrument to use for that analysis. And so we combine our science desires with the engineering constraints to actually see what we can and can't do on any given day on Mars. With more than a dozen instruments on board Curiosity, scientists hope to learn how Mars transitioned from a wet planet to a dry desert-like planet. We're actually preparing to drill into a rock for the first time on Mars. And that drilling could actually take place in a matter of days. For us, it's been very gratifying to be able to take part in that experience and to actually be a part of driving a rover on Mars. Like other NASA scientists, Milliken is actively involved in educating the public, including local school and astronomy groups, and fields questions on social media. And so far I have to say it's been absolutely fantastic that the public has been very engaged and interested in the rover and what it's up to, and that's always great to see. And if you'd like more information about the Curiosity rover or interact with the scientists on the project, you can log on to our website at WPRI.com. In Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm TJ Del Santo, Eyewitness News.